As the world comes to turn with the many challenges created by COVID-19, one question that every organizational leader is facing is how can I help ensure that my organization survives and perhaps thrives during the COVID-19 era? Certainly, the world has never seen anything quite like COVID-19. However, we have had other periods of economic downturn or major social and or environmental challenges that have impacted how organizations operate. I believe there are some important insights we can learn from history that will perhaps help leaders understand how to successfully navigate their organization through these current uncertainties. The first important lesson is perhaps the simplest, but also the hardest. Simply put, there's no going back to normal. In my conversation with business leaders today, I oftentimes hear them say how their main goal is to simply get through today and make it to when we get back to normal so they can go back to doing those things that they do best. However, history tells us that external shocks like COVID-19 permanently change the landscape. We never go back. There is no normal. And it is in this period where the game has changed and the rules are different that innovation is the key. Those organizations that are willing to adopt different business models, new forms of technology, new business processes, and even perhaps reconsider how they engage with their customers are the ones that will thrive during this period of uncertainty. So despite the fact that we're oftentimes just focused on making it day to day, organizational leaders have to set aside a time to understand how can I create opportunities for innovation in my organization. The second important insight is that if innovation is key, we also must think about how we can create new capabilities in our organization to actually act on these innovations. We can't engage in new tasks with old skills. As such, organizational leaders must think about redefining talent in their organization. This means rethinking where you recruit from, rethinking the way in which you train or develop your staff, thinking differently about how you should organize your staff, how you reward people or the things to which you tie rewards, and also fundamentally thinking differently about the behaviors and outcomes you identify as being important in your performance evaluation system. All of these things are the activities that organizations put in place to either create new capabilities or reinforce them. If you wanna be able to engage in new innovations, you need new skills. Leaders must think about how they can redefine talent in their organization. Finally, we cannot underestimate the impact of stress and anxiety created by COVID-19. Oftentimes during these periods of uncertainty, most people will simply not want to try new things or take unnecessary risks. However, that is exactly the opposite of what we need in organizations if we're going to be successful with innovation. How then can leaders create an environment that generates high levels of commitment, a willingness to try new things, and for organiz organizational members to experiment? I think one of the things we know from previous research is trust is key. Having a high trust environment creates a sense of security and safety for individuals to take on those tasks required for innovation. And to achieve this, leaders must invest heavily in transparency sharing information, good and bad, with their workforce. Being accessible, not just so they can communicate their ideas to employees, but being open to receiving ideas from the employees that will actually shape how the organization operates. This sense of trust generates high levels of reciprocity, and this reciprocity is a driving engine that generates the commitment needed for workers to engage in the types of activities necessary for successful innovations. So, what can we learn from the past? Well, certainly we've never been where we are today before, but we do know some things. We know that there's no going back to normal. The COVID-19 world will be a very different world than the pre-COVID-19 world. And those organizations that embrace innovation and put high levels of emphasis on that in their operations are gonna be the ones that do the best. To successfully implement this, requires organizational leaders to take the time to redefine talent in their organization. New tasks require different sets of skills. 
and organizational leaders have to commit to changing the way they manage their workforce to create and reinforce these new skill sets. And finally, we cannot expect people to engage in the types of risk-taking behavior and experimentation required for innovation if we do not have a high sense of trust. And it's quite critical for organizational leaders to take the time to invest in creating that trusted culture within their organization to engender that type of support from the workforce. I do hope these points are helpful and help guide your thoughts as to how you can best lead your organization through this period. I thank you for your time and I wish you the best of health and well-being.